So we did. We took that straight. You miss it during this episode because we cut it off with with my big mouth. But we went straight from Rhinoceros into Bury Me with this funk rhythm bass followed by the drums and then the guitars. We're, we're moving. Where where are we going? Yeah, this this song, it definitely moves. And in fact, if you've ever seen him play live, the song, I mean, they even up the tempo to the point where I'm like, how are they even keeping up? Like, how are they playing this song? And there's this part in this song where where they're playing like a muted guitar in the in the verses. And it just sounds so big and huge and heavy. Like you stack it up with any metal song of the era, you know, and, and that's, I think, what they did so well is they had these you know, again, it's like they could be the Doors or Pink Floyd, and then they're playing this, you know, they're putting that in there. And they've got some stops and some hits and some, you know, ring out solos. And, you know, and it's just, it's a, it is a very cool song. And I'm telling you the, the first four songs again, man, on this, on this, on this album, they just, they are perfect. They're perfect order of songs to, to like, you know, to, to, to bring you up and then let you down a little bit and then bring you right back up again. And this is why I get so excited to listen to an album. That's why we talk about a full album at a time here as often as I can, because there is someone's building something like as they're producing these albums and picking where the tracks go, like, and especially with one leading into another, like this one did, it means so much to follow that and like no if if you put this on a mixtape or you put it on a playlist where where the song ends or where it starts you feel like you sh the other song should have started it or you're going yeah. into the other one and yeah. it completely messes with your head when it's not there that's right that's 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 right because you need it's like it's like a you have to have both songs together really to have that to get that feel you know yeah, and that's uh, one of my favorites for that, uh, and it is my favorite one track into another, is Stone Temple Pilots on core when they go from Wet My Bed, the, that very trippy song, it, it, yeah, I guess it's a song, uh, into Cracker Man. Right. It just rips, and I'm just like, I play that every chance I get. Like, if I have a good sound system or something elevated i'm like oh i'm gonna go to this right away and see how this plays out so i love that the pumpkins do that as well oh yeah yeah and i think it was kind of um, back in the days still you know you're coming off of vinyl back then you know i mean cds were 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 it but you still had this vinyl feel where you know you did have little you were able to mix tracks you were able to have out you know the album oriented rock and roll basically is what it came down to and so you had these longer songs like none of these songs on here are shorter than except for the last song on the album are shorter than like two minutes long so these are not like radio friendly pop hits and in fact i don't think the album necessarily did that well i think it was like according to wikipedia i think it was uh like 195 out of the two, top 200 or something like that is the yeah. best it ever got until it's re-release but again it's one of those albums where like once the Siamese dream came out and once melancholy came out and people became huge fans and then they went back in a retrospective and were like, Oh wait, they had this other thing. And yeah. this is really cool too. You know? Yeah. It, it's, it's such a bonus when you can go when, when it's the sophomore album or a later album, that's the big one. Yeah. To go back and then see, Oh, what elements of this album were already their DNA that, that kind of, evolved into what they were in those later albums right right all right the later track becomes track five this is crush <laughs> 